Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Justin with the Millennium Mixtape, and I'm back today with another track react. Now I'm doing a reaction to one of the most requested songs um, that you guys have said in the comments. It is Hurt by Oliver Tree. I previously did uh, Don't Let Me Down, which was a stellar track. Um, this one, I haven't seen the video before, I've listened to. Um, and you know, I was planning on doing a review to Oliver's album Ugly is Beautiful, but with COVID-19 and all this madness, all of these artists have had to postpone their albums. So Haim, The Dixie Chicks, Oliver Tree, I mean, everybody's just kind of pushing them back a little bit. So I believe the new date is July 17th. So be on the lookout for Oliver Tree's Ugly is Beautiful then. But until we get that, this is the next best thing, I guess, for me. Here is a reaction to Oliver Tree's Hurt. Here we go. All right, school bus on fire. I used to be a teacher. I don't know if I like the look of that. Dude, I just love how he starts his tracks. He's just so out there and so different. Like there's so much to love about the character that he puts on when he does his, his music and his videos. And like he is pulling influences from everywhere. There's the hip hop, there's the rock. It's just, I love like the whole package here. Like Oliver Tree, is, he's, he's quickly becoming one of my favorites. the dog <laughs> okay <laughs> the dog the dog had the oliver tree bowl cut too that's nice a little uh, yay david Bearn big suit thing going on there is this in russia I'm getting a sense that this is in Russia. This looks like a Reddit post from a normal day in Russia. All right, so Oliver just lost his head. I would like to know what the analogy or the symbolism is between behind the the um, the canaries flying out of his neck. I would like to know what the the point of that is. I, th I think I think there's something there. So the little bit I do know about Oliver, I know that he and his Razor Scooter are like simpatico, like they're like buds. So it's interesting to see the, the crucifixion on the Razor. Again, there's some symbolism there. I feel like maybe he's tying his fame to something. Like the sense that I always get from, from Oliver is that he doesn't like the fame he's found for the things he's done. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but like that's kind of the feeling I get from him. Like almost like he feels pigeonholed a little bit. Um, and that's probably way off and I'm thinking too much into it, but it's just the, the feeling that I get from it. And the Jinkos, we gotta have the Jinkos. All 
so again, another fairly short song from Oliver Tree. I'm going to take this thing out. Um, yeah, so a fairly short song from him. Um, a lot of symbolism there, a lot to unpack um, that should not be done in a, in a reaction video. I feel like you've got to give the the artist some some due and some credit and put some real effort into trying to unpack those things. But yeah, if you get that sense from him, let me know. Like again, I just I feel like he isn't happy, but who is, right? Who, who really is? Um, you know, if you are, tell me the secret or create a YouTube channel, I will subscribe if that, yeah, I wanna know. But yeah, it just, you know, I just get the sense that he's unhappy with things. Um, so I, the, the lyrics there, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Like, it, again, like this, so, you know, between hurt and let me down, let me correct my previous statements before people get mad in the comments. I know it doesn't take long. Uh, let me down, not don't let me down, sorry. Um, so between hurt and let me down and uh, bury me alive, like I, I really, <laughs> I, I wanna know what else is gonna come from his album. Um, Ugly is Beautiful, again, it's dropping July 17th. I'm ready for it. I wanna see what else he's got for us, um, and I'm sure you are too. So the video, I think it was shot beautifully. Again, I feel like it's like a, a, a normal day in Russia, right? From from Reddit, like got this howitzer tank just rolling down the street. And then there, I, I just like, I wanna dive into it, but I know that I shouldn't. Just the symbolism again of the canaries flying out of his neck, the crucifixion on the Razor scooter. Like, what is that about? Like, I just, I wanna know more, I wanna know more. Right? Where's my G.I. Joe, the morning of thing? I need to know more. So I'm going to be doing some research in it. I'm going to be trying to find out more about the idea behind the imagery in uh, Hurt. So without going any further, <laughs> uh, July 17th, that's when Ugly is Beautiful is dropping. Let me know if you're excited about it in the comments. If you're curious about the headphones, those are the Impal 30s, and they're legit. Like, I've had them about three weeks now. This is not a sponsored post, but I've really enjoyed the Impal 30s. Under $35 when I got them, and they sound great. So give those a shot if you're looking for some cheap wireless headphones. But I'm excited for Ugly is Beautiful. I am ready. If you want more reaction videos, let me know. I've kind of stopped doing them for a while just because there's been... Uh, kind of a desert for new music uh, videos and things like that. But if you want more reaction videos, let me know. So uh, that was it. I'm Justin with the Millennial Mixtape. If you liked today's content, go ahead and give me a like. If you loved it, be sure to hit subscribe and click that bell gizmo so you're notified of any new videos I put out. Again, I was Justin with the Millennial Mixtape. That was Oliver Tree with Hurt. Over here is another video that you might like, and I'm going to stop talking now. So until I see you next time, stay safe, stay well.